at the end of the day, the data doesn't lie and it's right there in front of you. So I can get data on each hole I play, each golf course I play. I'd take that for the rest of my life, that shot, especially on this hole. It's nice to be able to have that right in front of me. Technology is huge for everything we do now. I mean, when I started 15 years ago, it was more of fairways, greens, and, and putts. Now, through ShotLink, we can go on there and see every shot we can hit, everything, not only the, what we do, but what the course provides as well. So I can get data on the, each hole I play, each golf course I play, and then on a personal standpoint, I can get my own data. I can go sit down with my coach and say, this is where I need to do to get better. I need to focus on this. This is where I can make the biggest jump. If I can gain a half shot here, that whether it's driving, whether it's putting, whatever it is, sit down and pick out, this is the most important part for me to get better quickly. Can you see Gary Woodland? 340 is that carry, 340. That is mammoth from Woodland. Yeah, here we go. Percentage of clubs I used on the tee on part four and part fives, 2019, 2020. You know, I hit driver 59% of the time. That has increased over the past four seasons where now I'm hitting drivers 70% of the time. That comes from the data. So it's one thing if, if I think, oh, let's play a little more conservative or we can play more aggressive here, the data doesn't lie. And like I said, I'm a lot better when I'm using driver versus some of the other clubs in my bag. It gives me advantage getting closer to the green. My coaches and my team have taken from the information that we've been provided that I'm a lot better when I use driver. Now back on the tee, Gary Woodland. Nothing like making a birdie on the hardest hole on the golf course. Yeah, the par four, 11th at TPC Scottsdale. I mean, this is a great par four, it's a hard hole. You have a hazard all the way down the left side, water, the right is trees and desert. So it's one that it's paramount to hit the fairway. The hole sets up for a little fade off the tee and then a draw in for the second shot into the green. I think the stats and the data will show that it's better to advance it farther down there to give yourself a better chance to make birdie. It's a hole that requires you to hit multiple shots, and the biggest key on that hole is to get the golf ball on the fairway off the tee. All right, back out to Gary Woodland, middle of the fairway. I've hit the fairway 26 times, I've missed it 22 times, and you can see the difference here. I'm nine under when I hit the fairway, and I'm nine over when I miss it. You know, I'm about 50%. It's one that's been tough for me to do over the years. So for me, being a visual person, there's a tree out there that's about 320 yards off the tee. I like to aim at that tree and fade it off. It's a big risk reward. I'm aiming at a penalty area, which you typically don't like to do, but I'm gonna aim there and trust that I fade the golf ball and I'm gonna fade it in the fairway and be able to attack once I hit driver. Being aggressive off the tee allows me to be a little more aggressive into the green. It's probably one of the most demanding driving holes that we have. There's really nowhere to miss it. take that every day for the rest of my life. Like I said, the biggest key on this hole is to get the golf ball in the fairway. Obviously, when I hit driver like I just did there and I hit it 335 yards, I'm gonna have a pretty short club into the green and I can be really aggressive. You can see why he was watching that closely. It just took a nice little left turn on the fairway towards the penalty area. So 117 yards, the greens are typically firm there. I know that, so I wanna land it a little short, playing for the bounce. But with the sand wedge in my hand, I'm gonna be pretty aggressive and I'm definitely thinking about making birdie. Obviously the data shows you hit the ball in the fairway, you get a short iron in your hand, it's a huge advantage and that's, that's right there. I mean, I have 12 feet for birdie. I will take that every day for the rest of my life as well and I'm gonna have a lot of success when I do that. Oh, oh do come it. on. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Oh yes. <laughs> it's okay to smile. It went in. <laughs> ah, there we go. Yeah, the 17th at TPC Scottsdale is one of the best drivable par fours we have on the PGA Tour. There is a penalty area hazard to the left up around the green is the second best hole for me when it comes from driving off the tee. But the 17th at Scottsdale, I've gained a lot. I've gained almost seven shots versus the field over my career. And that, that makes a lot of sense. I feel I have a massive advantage there. One, because there's a bunker out there about 265 off the tee. I hit my three wood about 275 and it's downhill after that. So. 
a hole where a lot of guys have to hit driver and try to feed it in there, I'm able to hit three wood. So, and if it's into the wind, guys aren't getting over that bunker and that's when I can hit driver. It's a big advantage for me. It's one of my favorite holes on the PGA Tour, like I said, but it's one that I've had some success on too. This is a three wood. So I'm just trying to aim it at the, I like to draw three wood. I'm gonna aim it at the right side of that green and just try to cover that bunker and hopefully it runs up on the green. Perfect. It's just one of those that's a visual I've had a lot of success on. I step up on the tee box and I'm thinking about making birdie. I think that's a big deal. The data doesn't lie. And so I can see where I need to be more aggressive, where I can make the quickest gains that gives myself a chance to do what I want to do, which is win golf tournaments. We get this data in real time. My team and I can sit down and make any adjustment we need to make. This shot link technology that we have really makes improvements to my game a reality and something I use every day.